Hello, sports fans and football fans. Did you think that football was over with the NFL playing the Super Bowl? Well, you were wrong about that because we have the second coming of the USFL, the United States Football League. It will be starting up on April 16th of 2022. And many, well, actually, all of the teams in the league have names and logos that um, hanker, hanker back to the original USFL. However, there will not be quite as many teams as there was in the original. As you can see, you got the counter here. I'm on the USFL website. You can see you got the counter. At this point, as I'm recording, it's 63 days, six hours, 53 minutes, and the seconds ticking away. Um, however, as you will be seeing this uh, video, it will be a lot fewer days. Well, well, quite a few fewer days. Few fewer? Is that right? Is that how it's done? I don't know. So anyway. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the USFL is coming, and um, I am going to be doing the Sportsman Z matchups and uh, doing the weekly predictions, just like I did with the NFL. So if you enjoyed those with the NFL, well, guess what? You'll probably enjoy it with the USFL. Um, I even have the helmets, and you know, thank you to the USFL for keeping. This, the same teams for the uh, eight teams that they did um, that they do have thank you to them for ha for bringing back eight teams in team names and everything from the original USFL so uh, the USFL will be uh, eight teams as I said two divisions of four teams each there will be a north division and there will be a South Division. The North Division will be the Michigan Panthers, and their head coach will be Jeff Fisher. Everybody remembers Jeff Fisher of uh, Tennessee Titans fame, and I think he also was the coach of the Rams at one point. Then you have the New Jersey Generals, and their coach will be Mike Riley. The New Jersey Generals, of course, and the Michigan Panthers, and all of these teams were from the original USFL. Uh, you have the Philadelphia Stars. Who could forget the Philadelphia Stars? I think they won the first USFL championship. Uh, and their new coach will be Brent Andrus. Andrus? I don't know who he is. Uh, then you got the Pittsburgh Maulers, and their head coach will be Kirby Wilson. In the south, you have the Birmingham Stallions, and their head coach will be Lou Holtz's son, Skip. Skip Holtz will be the coach of the Birmingham team. The Houston Gamblers, remember Jim Kelly used to play for the original uh, Houston Gamblers. And uh, that their new coach will be Kevin Schulman. Let me get rid of that. Uh, the Kevin Sumlin will be their coach. Um, the New Orleans Breakers, who were at one time the Boston Breakers, and the New Orleans Breakers in the original USFL, their coach will be Larry Fedora, the Hat Man. And then you got Tampa Bay Bandits, and their head coach will be Todd Haley, who you might remember as a, uh, I think he was a position coach with the Steelers, and maybe very briefly the head coach of the Kansas City uh, Chiefs in the NFL. So uh, there you go with that. There will be a 10 game schedule. Each team will play two games against teams in their own division. So. <clears throat> Sounds vaguely familiar. And then they will play one against uh, each team in the other division. And that will be their 10 games. And then there will be um, the top two teams in each division will play a playoff game. And then the winners of those games will meet in the USFL 
Championship. Um, now, uh, they will not be playing in their own home cities. Every game will be in uh, Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama. So the only really true home team will be the Birmingham Stallions. Um, that's probably due to COVID concerns, I would think. Uh, hopefully, they will only do that for the inaugural season, and then they will, after that, uh, go back to their own cities, and the games will be played in their own cities. And really, hopefully after that, they will have more than eight teams. But we'll see. They have to get a good foothold. So, um, you know, here's uh, what you need to know. The website has a lot of good information. What you need to know talks about the last two coaches that were hired um, in um, uh, Jeff Fisher and Larry Fedora. Uh, and if USFL players giving staff tuition free, debt free. You got a lot of information here. Here's the team's official gear. You got the shop. Shop now. You can go and get some. Uh, if you would be me, you would go and you would get Michigan Panthers stuff because I'm going to be a Michigan Panthers fan. I'm just saying that. I'm putting it out there. I'm going to be a Michigan Panthers fan. Love Jeff Fisher. He's a great coach. And I think he will uh, be able to take the Michigan Panthers to a championship. And as I said, I will be covering the uh, weeks. Every week I will be doing the, uh, you know, predicting the games like I did with the NFL. Now I am after three seasons doing the NFL, I'm at 60.9%. I don't expect to be that good with the USFL. Uh, although I should improve after the first couple of weeks, but I'm not going to know anything about these teams. But I just wanted to give you guys a real quick and dirty about the USFL. It's coming. Football is not over. And Football might actually thrive in the spring, especially this year if there's no baseball, but we'll wait and see what happens. So uh, I just want to let you guys know that. Um, what do you guys think? Who's your favorite team going to be? Have you thought about that? You got to start thinking about these things. And leave a comment below. Um, give me a thumbs up. You can hit the thumbs up, man. That just, it's a real quick second. It doesn't take anything. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, of course, subscribe. It helps me out. And, uh, you know, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. But that is going to be it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.